Okay, so this campsite has a total of 51 sites. This is 42. This might be the nicest one. It's got a, you don't have any neighbors really. And then you've got this beautiful view of the lake. Uh, Army Corps of Engineer Campground. There's a fee station that you pay at that you go out here. This takes you out to Highway 7. This campground is off Highway 7 in Bismarck, Arkansas, which is between Hot Springs and Arkadelphia. Um, it's not that far from I-30 or I-40. I don't, I can't remember which one, which interstate that was. Uh, but this is some more campsites. And I don't know, it's a fee station. You just pay, honor system, the envelope. Uh, you fill it out, put your money in there, put your uh oh, that might be my finger. Yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Honor system, you pay your fees at a fee station. And then you go occupy your site. It's pretty easy. You can stay a total of 14 days at $20 a night or $10 a day if you have that, that discount card. All right. Well, I'm going to do one more panoramic turn around just a really pretty peaceful place we saw deer last night an armadillo some squirrels this morning so lots of nature okay I'm going to show you one more section of the campground, and this is Edgewood Campground in Bismarck, Arkansas. This is Edgewood Campground. It has 51 sites. It's an Army Corps of Engineer Park. Rates are $20 a night for the single sites. They all have water and electricity. Um, this... There's a couple of double sites. They're $40 a night. That accommodates two RVs. I'll show y'all a little bit of the campground. It's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park. $20 a night. $10 a night if you have America the Beautiful discount card or the, I think they call it the Golden Access card. It's a federal campground located on Lake DeGray in Bismarck, Arkansas. Bismarck is between Arkadelphia and Hot Springs, Arkansas. This is not very far from the interstate. We got here late last night, 10 o'clock. So this is the first time I'm really seeing the campground. We drove through to select this the site. Campsite 7, this is our pull through. A little bit further off the road. That's campsite 8, another pull through where you're pretty much kind of right on the road. But we, we like it. This was nice. This was quiet. We were convenient to the bathhouse. And across the road, well, right there, as I zoom in, you can see the other pull through. This is what I was saying earlier about needing ours fit, and we had a little bit of extra room left. But I did buy the extension just to be on the safe side. But all in all, we give this campground two thumbs up. It's nice, it's pleasant, clean bathrooms, full water and electricity hookups. They have two dump stations as you're exiting the park near the fee station. And for $10 a night, you just can't beat this kind of deal. Or for $20 a night, which is not bad. This is the bathhouse at Edgewood State Park. Nice, clean, um, hot showers. All right, this is one of the camping loops at Edgewood Campground. 
most of the sites are very level. $20 a night, $10 a night if you have the uh, America the Beautiful or the other discount card issued by the federal government. But sites are $20 a night. These closer to the lake are a little bit closer together. There's the lake there. Bathhouses are nice, modern, hot water, showers, tiled. I'm going to walk around and we'll... That sign indicates that there is a playground nearby. And we'll walk around and just kind of take a look, see what else there is to see. That is the Edgewood Campground Swimming Beach area. And right here is a tent camping area. You just back your car in. Pack your car in and you're right at your site. And these come equipped with water and electricity. And are convenient to the bathhouse. There's the beach. I'll slowly pan around and show you how close you are. That's the bathhouse, right there. And this is part of the campground. You are closer to the uh, RV units. There's the playground right there. So you're also familiar to the playground as well. More pull through campsites. We got here late on a Thursday night. So, they're all nice and level. It's just there's your site, and this is the rut. And that's another pull through there. We were tempted to stay in this one last night, but. It's on such an incline and it was so late, we just didn't feel like getting out and it was gonna take a little work to get our motor home level here. So we found another pull through that we like and just pulled in there. But it's really pretty side. And this one allows you to get off the road a little bit more than some of the other sites do. But if you look, this is your site. It's a very spacious site and all for $20 a night or just 10 with a discount card. This being Friday, this place may fill up over the weekend. I don't know. That's site 31. Okay, let's go look around a little bit more through site number 37. That's your site. That's the road. That's my only criticism of this beautiful, quiet campground. Is they're so close to the road, but I don't know how much. It's hard to know. It's hard to know. If they don't get a lot of traffic, then it's really not that big of a deal. But being on a Thursday night, there was, there was really no way to judge that. And this is another pull through site here. I didn't realize that last night when we were pulling through. Okay, so this is pull through number 38. And they have plenty of back end spots. It's just getting here at 10 o'clock at night. I just didn't want to fool with that. But I'll show you our pull through in a little bit. It's nice and a little bit more off the road. Not, and we didn't have to do anything to level it. One more thing. Thankfully, I had read about this in the campsite reviews. And my site didn't require it. But if you don't have an extension cord, power cord for your RV, and a lot of water hose, those, you can see your electricity box and your water up there. And... So, I had stopped at Walmart and picked up a power extension cord, 
and an extra water hose, just a 25 foot extension, just in case I needed it. My site, it actually did make it, but as you can see, it could be a concern for you. Here's okay. another example of why you might need those extension cords. This is a nice little back end site here. But if you can see up on the hill, there's your electricity box, there's your water for this site number 39. So you can see where you might need those extensions. I've never needed them before, but we're getting away from staying at state park campgrounds. I should have mentioned, this is an Army Corps of Engineer campground. Nice, clean, quiet. Uh, it's kind of on a little peninsula that juts out into the lake, so the lake is all around you. Really, really beautiful here.